<laughs> Whoa, Gavin. <laughs> we usually find extras. Really? Yeah, anything coming out of Atlanta. Anything. That's great, really. This is Anne, who went to school with my mom. Hey, everybody. And she's been watching the YouTube channel. She actually came out today to go for a run. Go Depths of History. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Thank you and so please, much. Go easy on them. They're doing a good job. <laughs> This is how it's done right here. Just lay on the back and float down. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. As you can see behind me, I'm at the Chattahoochee River and we've dove this particular section plenty of times. There's a lot of tubers that actually go down this river and they're losing phones, car keys, just a bunch of crazy different things. But people also throw criminal evidence off of this bridge as well, like guns and also we found pipe bombs and grenades and just a bunch of crazy stuff when we've been scuba diving this river. But if you guys are enjoying these scuba diving videos, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. What do you think we're gonna find today, man? I think we're gonna find a couple phones. I think we're gonna find some garbage and a pogo stick. Johnny and I have dove this location several times and we've also dove with Jeremy and Adam if you've seen them on the episodes, but hopefully today we'll kill it today and find some really cool things. If you'd like to check out his channel, check out the link in the description below to see what he found today. So today I've got my scuba tank which is going to allow me to stay underwater for about an hour and 30 minutes if not more. I've got my pouch here and also all of my gear. I've also got my light with me today so I can see my path as I'm scuba diving and I don't run into any debris or anything that could poke a hole in my dry suit. So walking down this path I already see my sticker. Can you guys see it? Heck yeah, representing. We're now going, we're going to be going all the way down over to the bridge. Johnny's right there. We gotta float all the way down there. It's gonna be a long track, that's for sure. Pepsi bottle. <laughs> Kind of got flipped over a little bit. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God. 
Check it out. I got an umbrella. I cannot believe you, I just found that. Oh my gosh, look, I'm literally right over where the bridge is, too. Oh my gosh. I'm keeping it pointed down, I'm walking over here. Oh my gosh. I've never found a pistol here. This is my first pistol ever found here. Oh my gosh. Oh, Johnny's gonna freak out when he sees this, man. This is crazy. There's a plastic grip on the handle, as you can see. The rest of it is solid iron. That is crazy. I was just probably thrown right off this bridge by somebody. Who knows how long it's been there for. It seems like it's pretty rusted, but it was just covered up by the rocks right there. That is crazy. I don't know what caliber that is. It's a huge, huge handgun, but we're definitely gonna have to give the police a call for this one. I think there might be some serial numbers. You can see there's a bunch of rocks like crusted to it right there by the trigger. But let's go ahead and put this in the pouch. I think we're gonna have to head back. It was a great day with some really cool finds. Came across a lot of trash and debris and that old cell phone and that gun. Of course, we can't end the hunt without a golf ball. Well, I got a gun. You got a gun? I got a gun, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh! Check that thing out, man. Dude, that is awesome. Look at that. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Now everybody gets worried that we're touching it, you know, without our glove. And, uh... It's been underwater. It's been underwater for such a long time, there's no way... Oh, we're gonna that. get any thumbprints or anything on it. But, yeah, check that out, man. Wow, good five, bro. Isn't that crazy? Right underneath the bridge right there. All right, so I was able to find a bunch of trash and different tools and things like that. I'm gonna go over a little bit of what I found, but I also wanna go over what Johnny found, so check this out. You got a hard drive right here. This is actually the same one that I was able to find, but uh, I think it fell out of my pouch or something. I got a bunch of golf balls too. These were Johnny's. You got two pink ones and three white ones. You also got a can, a knife, and Going over to my finds, this is my find of the day right here. It was some sort of 40 caliber handgun, as you can see, and it does have a plastic grip on it. I think they might be able to get some serial numbers off of it if they wanted to, but that was a great find for sure. I was super excited to find that. Uh, I came across a couple other items that I brought up today as well. Got a Coke bottle here. You can see it's super green. It's been in the water for such a long time. Um, I also got an old, Nokia phone 
Oh, that's cool. See, it's got a bunch of like mud and stuff on it. And that came inside the case, which I've got the case right here. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But um, I also got some sunglasses, some beads of some kind, and I think that's about it. I got a DVD right there. And what else? Oh, yeah, a bunch of sinkers. And I think these are actually flattened bullets, I'm not sure, but pretty cool finds nonetheless. So it was a great day of searching, and we're gonna see what we can find on our next dive for sure. But we've gotta call the police about this gun and actually turn this into them. You never know when we find weapons like this. You know, it could have been used in a crime or could have been used in like a homicide. We've had some weapons come back to us, and uh, the cops have actually told us that they were used in the commission of a crime. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a call right now, but stay tuned. It's gonna get pretty crazy here in a second. Hi there, my name is Britton Lockhart and my friend Johnny and I, we were basically scuba diving. I was able to find a revolver of some type, so I wanted to see if a officer could come out here just to take a look at it, maybe take it if they'd like to have it. And we've got all of our dive gear next to it, so it'll pretty, be pretty obvious who found it. I mean, we're, we're in our scuba gear right now, too. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, our first available option will be dispatched as soon as possible. Just call back if anything changes. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So we just were able to call the police, and they are going to get an officer down here, basically to take a look at that 40 caliber pistol that I was able to find. It's super rusted up, and I think if they rub something like a chemical or something on it, they might be able to get some serial numbers, potentially tracing it back to when it came into the river from this bridge. How's it going, officer? Doing well. We came across a. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Remember I found the computer last time? Uh, oh, yeah, the old soggy marijuana. The old yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something a little better today. He found it today, though. We found that massive uh, revolver the yeah. under, underneath the bridge, in between those two bridges, the two far ones on the left. We got a couple 15, 20 foot holes down there. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. We usually find extras. Really? Yeah. Anything coming out of Atlanta. Any that's bridge. great. Really? It's that's what it seems like. Cause we've been to many bridges along Atlanta. And it seems like every single one has like some sort of firearm yep. or yep. something. You're always gonna find. <laughs> yeah. He's the guy I was talking about that was a diver. That knows. Oh, you dive too? Yeah, we're one of the, I'm one of the nine divers on the Oh, very cool. Oh, nice. Let me see if I can find a serum up on this thing and we'll take it off the hands. Awesome. That'd be really cool if we were able to tell if it was like stolen or something. We found some house in Atlanta. Well, it was pieces. Somebody threw it off the VMH bridge. Really? Pieces of guns? Uh, like, well, just like... we broke it up and threw it apart. But oh, really? looking for that, we found other guns. And one of them was like stolen in like 1983. Really? 1983? Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> And officer, you've been very nice with me. What was your uh, name and badge number, if you don't mind? Uh, it's Frunch. Frunch. 0537. 0537. Thank you so much. And these are the interactions we strive to have. You know, a, a lot of people think, you know, we're just trying to start things with police, and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to turn in these guns that we're able to find, and if they ever have evidence linked to them at all or, or anything associated with them, they... Uh, they're able to look them up and, and basically get the whole entire history of what happened with this pistol. Did they come back to anything? No, I can't even find it. Uh, oh, can't even find anything? Wow. No, the serial number's probably all covered up. Eaten up with rust and everything? No, they all go to the crime lab, so I don't know what they do with them if they put them in one of those electronic sinks or baths. And yeah, definitely. I don't know what they'll be able to do with it, but if they, without a serial number, uh, mm -hmm. they'll just hold it, I guess. Ancient. It is ancient, yeah. We'll take it. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much, officer. I really do appreciate your professionalism. Thank you. You as well. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>
All right, everybody, so as you can see, the cops just left. Uh, they're leaving behind us. This officer was definitely very, very good, and I could tell that he has studied a lot of his laws, and, you know, he just wants to make sure that he has that good interaction, you know, with the citizens of this town, and that's important to me because if you come up with a good attitude and you know that you are serving to protect the community, you know, I think that's a big part of it is having a relationship with the community as a whole. So he definitely did a great job. If you would like to check out more videos on this channel, Channel regarding police interactions and everything that we find in the rivers check out my links in the description below also check out Johnny's channel I will have his channel linked in the description below as well but with that said thank you so much for watching good luck and we'll see you guys on the next one